So, today, we've been installing this old catch cane from Burger Motorsport. Paper. This was a letter to Gabe. Sincerely to Gabe. And I got this junk. Probably not gonna make a video about that because he just plugged that boy in. All right, so so you get this hose, you get the catch can, that don't be crisp, and then you get this hose. You know, you get all the hose. You know what I'm saying? And then, so first thing you gotta do is if you have the cabin, the stock cabin air filter, you gotta remove that whole big thing, which is just a bunch of eight mils. But if you don't, you gotta remove the engine cover, which are just a bunch of Allens. That boy Allen. All right, so the engine covers, Allen keys are four, five, I believe. But I lost a couple of mine. It's no biggie, it's no biggie though. So just remove the Allens off the engine cover. So, gotta remove this and Eventually, after we get in there, we gotta cut this off. Shing! Because this is a thick boy, and she won't squeeze in there if if she's in there. So we're probably gonna angle grinder, cut that boy off. So set that jaw on the side. So here's the PCV valve hose right here. So you just wanna take that off, and it's a bunch of annoying clips. So you take two flatheads and remove this, and then on this side, you remove this, so this is all you're removing is literally just this hose here. What I try to do is just pull it on the right and the left. And be careful because these clips like to break. So this is definitely going to be the hardest part of the installation, just getting these clips off. And it's smelling your breath. That too, that sucks. Alright, so oh, pull that out the way. And then you're just going to do the same thing on this side too. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. So pretty much all it is is four clips. There's one on top, left, right, underneath. But you just gotta try to get like two of them unclipped. And it takes a minute. All right, so we got this out now. No, And all you gotta do is take this hose off here. You gotta like use a heat gun to heat it up and pull it off. So you actually don't need this this side of it so honestly if you wanted to you could just destroy these clips it's not that big of a deal but you definitely need these clips because the only piece you need from this is this flapper there's like a flapper inside of here so what i'm going to use is a heat gun you can use a hair dryer if you don't got one and just heat up around here and then pull that oil this thing got flamed Pretty much all what happened was I heated up and it like destroyed and then I just used snipper cutter jumps and just cut my way down. Now she's off so I'm going to clean it off a little bit and then put her on that hose. Alright so all I got to do now is take the hose here and just get her in there. How I have it is where the clip is coming this way because this hose is already pre-bent. So you want it like this. So now you just want to snake this hose back here. And then just literally clip the OEM PCV flapper back in. Just like that. So Burger Motorsports gives you this hose here. And this one is going to come where the, the hook part goes into this fitting over here. All right, so in order to get this one in there, uh, I unplugged this connector that goes on the fuel rail. GG getting that back in. So now you just take your your dip can. You install it and then the video. Burgertuning.com. Check got, them out. Use they my, got good cheeseburgers. Use my code. So pretty much all you want to do is Get this bracket 
around here and then tighten the four millimeter allens to get the catch cam mounted right here. So we're gonna get that done real quick. You might have to take the intake out, but uh, I'll let y'all know right quick. So the silicone hose is gonna go to the out here. And what we did is kind of just put the catch can on this support brace here and then just slid it to where we need it so it would fit it perfectly. So you are gonna have to take the inlet pipe and trim it probably about four inches. Yeah, so I'm just tying this up. We're gonna cut this and then slip that hose over that, uh, the in. And then you work at Burger King. And you get free burgers, cheeseburgers. All right, so what we ended up doing was taking it off the mount and it's scratching this, but you know, who cares? So we took it out to get this pipe, the, to get that hose in there. It'll probably make it a lot easier. All right, so we got the catch can in that boy. She looking like a straight cheeseburger. Yes, sir, looking fresh. So now we gotta cut the engine cover so that way it'll fit these these big hoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Now this thing's freaky fast. So we yeah. better bring a helmet. I'm gonna use this to just shave this whole back piece off. Give it a fresh feed. Yeah. You said zero on the side. Z yep, zero on the side. He likes to leave it long in the front, so I'm gonna give him a good shape up in the back. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Alright, so I had this customer coming today asking for a two in the back, so I'm gonna give him a two in the back. Should I wear some glaces or am I straight? You need your helmet on. Now you straight. You ain't getting I'm going fully loaded. Ready for this? I'm gonna hit the longest yeah boy on this freaking bitch. <laughs> yeah boy. <laughs> Alright, so make sure you wear your gear. Even the even the camera dude wears one. <laughs> Gotta be safe. Dude, I'm fogging these jumps. Oh! I'm in a splash zone. I can't see anything. Rona season, go ahead. We gave her a nice fresh fade back there. Don't join on me for using an angle grinder for plastic, but. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, I need it quicker than any of your fister scissors. All right, so now we're gonna make sure it fits in there. Got them big booty hose back there. Nice and snug. Yeah, I see where you're hitting. Look at your back left. Back left? Look at top, back left, left, left. It fit. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh. oh, that was squeezing that hose. All right, well, since you done did dibbit, and then bum it in. it up. All right, so now I'm just gonna tighten it all up. Get them, get them hose. Put them jumps in there. Back. I really hope these oh, don't fall. Gotta go down there a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna put my nice two bolts back in there. Anyone wanna send me some free bolts? Do it. Let me get them, Jones. All right, here goes the first start with the oil catch can in. So I'm just pretty much gonna go on a test run. I know adding an oil catch can doesn't really do any, it doesn't do anything at all performance wise. It just helps with blow by, which I was getting smoking issues. Um, every now and then we're on diesel, it would smoke up a little bit. So I'm hoping that'll really limit the amount of times that it does that, or hopefully it just never happens. All right, so that's the end of this video. Uh, you know, she, she'd be catching some oil. Uh, I'll probably do like a review a review and some other video later down the road of when I like empty it or whatever but the car is running normal as it should there's been no smoke but it wasn't really like a reoccurring thing too much before so this will probably be a short video but I mean it doesn't really take long at all to put it in um so yep that'd be the end of this video it looks fresh catch you on the flip yeah.